extend the hip and knee to push the carriage backwards, flex the hip and knee to return the carriage in, maintaining a neutral pelvis. Inhale to extend the carriage back, exhale to flex the hip and return the carriage in. Try and avoid hyperextending through the knee, focus on the movement happening through the hip extensors and allowing space in the front of the hip. Avoid rotating the pelvis as you're in this position and hyperextending through your supporting leg. The supporting leg might need to be bent for carriages that are lower to the ground and be aware that if people are unable to maintain the alignment of the legs, which might skew the carriage off center, to keep the knee down supported on the carriage before they lift the knee up. Maintaining the C-curve through the spine, extend the hips to press the carriage back. Return the carriage in, flexing the hips, keeping the spine in the C-curve. Inhale as you press through the heels to push the carriage back into hip extension, only as far as the pelvis maintains the C-curve. And exhale to return the carriage in, flexing the hips, deepening the abdominals to maintain the curved position of the spine. Try and keep the shoulders stabilized throughout to avoid elevation or depression and keep space in the wrists while they're supported on the foot bar. Try and only push the carriage back before the pelvis might come into an anterior tilt. Keeping the spine neutral and the abdominals engaged, press the carriage back into hip extension and return the carriage in, pulling the knees underneath the hips forward into hip flexion. Inhale to press the carriage out into the hip extension, maintaining the neutral spine and pelvis, and exhale to return the carriage in, deepening the abdominals, opening the sit bones, and keeping the pelvis spine in neutral. This is a challenge for st shoulder stability and pelvis stability. Avoid popping the ribs forward and losing the connection of the abdominals, but also to avoid hyperflexing through the lumbar spine as the carriage moves back and forward. Keeping the knees hovered off of the carriage, extend the legs fully back, pressing the carriage out and flex through the hips and knees to return the carriage in, maintaining the same level position with the knees. Inhale to extend the legs back, exhale to flex the knees and hips forward. This is a, a challenge for pelvis stability with the knees in the air. So maintaining the abdominal connection, the shoulder blade connection as the legs extend and flex. To begin, float the knees off the carriage just a little bit and extend the legs back into a plank position. Take one leg off of the carriage and flex the hip forward. Then as the supporting leg pulls the carriage in into hip and knee flexion, the gesture leg extends back behind the hip, bicycling the legs in that series for three to five repetitions and then return to the plank before changing to the other side. As you inhale, extend the carriage back. As you exhale, pull the carriage in, flexing the supporting knee and hip. The challenge is to keep the pelvis in a neutral position, avoiding rotation and laterally flexing, and to really challenge the stability through the shoulder girdle and scapula, maintaining a neutral position through the spine, avoiding flexing and hyperextending 
in the low back. 